Well, ladies, gentlemen, and of course my favorite llamas, my favorite of all, we have just received, just fresh out of the mail, went to the mail, got it, put my hands on it, walked back here, got a video camera, went to the backyard. That's how fresh this thing is. It is the Creek Stewart Apocabox Skills Challenge. I gotta be honest, I'm not impressed with this. However, I am being super judgmental because it came in this. For all I know, this is like a very lightweight new molecular formula for gold. I, I don't, I, I don't know. So uh, to introduce this once again, this comes from Craig, who's awesome. Uh, so he has been watching the channel and me and him have been, you know, we, we communicate offline, we talk, we discuss, you know, where Rommel screwed up in the desert. We talk about how the allies could have ended that war sooner. We talk about what really was the best fighter, the P-51 or the P-38. We talk about why the F-16 sucks today. We discuss a great many things, um, but he loves to support the channel because he's an awesome guy. And he sends, in addition to some other things, these Creek Stewart skills challenges to us to look at. So we've got this one. We're gonna open it. Kind of looks like you know one of those little cards from Grandma. Like, just want to see how you're doing. Make sure you have money. Here's five bucks. Yeah, Grandma sends those because Grandma's awesome. Let me tell you. So, oh, I'm totally wrong. I'm totally wrong. Craig did not send this. But Craig is still awesome, guys, and I want you to know it. This is the patch of the month, which I forgot completely that I signed up for and paid for. So this is the Creek Stewart patch of the month club. Boy, do I look like a fucking asshole now. But I, look, guys, I look like a fucking asshole at least half the time. Look, I've got the camera tripod in frame because it was too bright for me to even see it when I set up. Starting over, see this nice envelope? This is from Creek Stewart. Creek Stewart sent this out because I paid for something from Creek Stewart. Okay, so the Patch of the Month Club, eight bucks. And we got an example of it with the last, um, not only the skills challenge, but with the last Apaka Box, which I think we all universally agreed that Apaka Box kind of let us down. But I was very interested in seeing for $8 a month what we get in the Patch of the Month Club. Um, Christian. Uh, also, a good friend runs the channel Exploring It All with his daughter, Bella, just like I like to do stuff with Ethan. Um, he signed up for the Patch of the Month Club, said he got his first patch, said it was pretty cool. So basically, we get one, uh, I want to say custom patch. You only get it from the subscription every month. So I want this patch. I want this one. Is Could it be we get this patch? It is. It is that patch. It is that patch. And very bright colors on it. I really like it. Contrast between green and orange is great. And this is the kind of patch where you don't have to be, you, there's no inside joke. You don't have to be into anything to get it. I mean, if you're into zombies, it helps. But remember, it's not if, but when. Um, and coincidentally, so years and years ago, I read the book World War Z um, on a deployment. It was <clears throat> it was kind of our, our, our unit's theme that it was, was the zombie thing and boy it got annoying after a while. But World War Z is a fantastic book and let me tell you the bullshit movie that Brad Pitt made also titled World War Z because they bought the rights to it has absolutely nothing to do with the story in the book besides the fact that they're both called World War Z and roundabout ways there are zombies in both. Read the book. It's amazing. And uh, I'm not going to tell you how it's different, but it's very different. And the book is so much better the way it is done. And in fact, if you get it on Audible, it is voice acted. Normally, you know, Audible, one person just reads the book. Sorry, I'm doing this whole thing for World War Z now. But um, normally in Audible, one person just reads the book to you. In the World War Z book, each individual part is voice acted by a different voice actor. Some of them are famous people that you will recognize, um, and they perform the hell out of that each part. And it's a re it, there's a reason why they do it that way. 
but I don't want to ruin it because I want you, if you're going to experience it, I want you to experience the way that book is written. Anyway, so the zombie thing is really cool. And this could, you know, not only as a, you know, so you could take this as the zombie apocalypse, but also it could stand for any kind of, you know, uh, cataclysmic event, apocalyptic event. Why do people prep? Uh, not if, but when. So this is a really cool patch. I like this patch. I was hoping, because this was site, like, we saw this design, kind of. Um, oh, and it says it right there. Whether it's a zombie apocalypse, a car breakdown in the middle of nowhere, this patch serves as a subtle reminder that anything is possible. I really like this. This is worth it. I would buy this patch if I saw it online. Like, if I just saw it, I would buy it. Um, so that's a really cool thing. So worth $8, absolutely. Um, it's a great quality stitching. And once again, time in the military, you know, you're, you're always sourcing for morale patches for unique, like a deployment. Every unit kind of makes their, their like a special patch for those that were there on a deployment. Or um, in the Air Force, we had stuff called combat dining ins. And we have combat dining outs. They're two different kinds of things. But it... It, they're they're wild and and it is considered a very special traditional event and it is not formal in the least um and like so one year our squadron had the theme um of i swear 70s pimps and hoes and so you had to come dressed as one or the other and you'd be surprised how many guys decided to come dressed as a 70s hoe just to be hilarious and so there was a a, a patch made to commemorate that. Uh, you can never get away with that today. But, um, it, you know, so custom patches, you you get to know when you see ones, like how the quality is. The edging could have been done better on this, but you know, it's a, also there's, there's a certain thing where, you know, I don't know how many of these he had produced. I'm not sure where he had them produced. A lot of custom patches and stuff are actually made in Korea, even for the military in South Korea. There are a lot of shops right outside the base. Um, there's a couple really good places right here in the USA. But anyway, this is uh, this is a really well done one. You can just tell by how tight the stitching is and everything on there. So yeah, sorry, I'm babbling. Like I said, great eight dollars spent. I'm totally happy. This is this is one that I would I would throw money down on. And if it was for sale outside of the subscription, I would buy a few more to give out to some friends and stuff. So pretty sweet. Um, and I am now excited to see what comes next month. What do you guys think? Is this one that you would buy, that you would display somewhere, that you'd put in a collection? I bet a lot of you would, because I think that's pretty cool. So, anyway, glad that this has worked out well, um, especially the big letdown from the last uh, box, but I like this. I like you guys. You're all cool. Remember that you guys are all absolutely awesome, and I appreciate every single one of you, and I'll be back again real soon.